All right, guys, this is a quick and uh, quick short how-to, and uh, hopefully it saves you a little frustration. Uh, replacing a lock cylinder in a 1997 Honda Acti uh, van. This specifically is a van. It's a street van with the automatic transmission. May also be applicable to the manual transmission, but I'm not exactly sure. I know the part numbers for the entire assemblies are different, but they don't show a lock cylinder by itself, and I couldn't really... Figure out where to order aftermarket parts for this thing as far as replacements, at least for something like this. Anyway, what you need to do, take the steering wheel off, take uh, this cover. Uh, there's a 19 or 21 back here. Pull that out. This whole thing comes out of here. Four columns, shroud bolts, off Phillips. Drop those down. There's a metal clip that holds the two pieces of plastic together. Take that off, and then all your shroud is uh, out of the way, and you got what you have see before you. Next thing you need to do right here this little hole there's a set screw that holds this lock cylinder in here take that guy out and if you're fortunate enough to be able to turn your ignition at least sometimes turn your key to accessory and then come up here and you see this little hole right here and you take your pick push that guy down and you can pull that whole lock cylinder and everything out of there and what I used to replace it with was one for a 91 Honda Civic. Part number is 201-1921. This is uh, Beck Arnley. I bought it off Rock Auto. I just uh, compared the pictures from my old one. This is the old one here. Um, yours may be different, but I mean, like I said, mine's a 97 uh, Honda Acti Street Van. Automatic. This is what mine looks like. And now if your ignitions, if your ignition lock won't turn, you will have to drill out this guy right here. Drill it completely out through that same hole. So you may need to drop the entire, uh, this entire ignition by uh, removing, or by taking those little shear off bolts and cutting a, cutting a groove into them and removing them that way. Or uh, just replace the whole ignition lock barrel if you're not brave enough to drill it out. But uh, I did it this way because this thing was like 35 bucks and I figured it was worth a try instead of spending... 150 200 bucks on the OEM after shipping um, and it works great as you can see starts no problem and it's just a cheap solution I figured I'd uh, figured I'd uh, make a video about it since uh, I couldn't really find any information on it anywhere else and uh, I don't guess a ton of people have these I know some people have them but I mean not a ton, I guess. I mean, a lot of people I know say they've never seen one, but that's it. Um, hopefully, this helps somebody out out there that's having trouble with their ignition. Um, and uh, thanks.